Welcome back to the Sound for More channel and welcome back to another tutorial. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you like what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description, which will tell you how to support the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside Serum 2 and um, let's uh, remove the tool tips and um, let's have a look at the wavetable oscillator now i have initialized a preset if you don't know how to do that click on the menu here and select init preset you can also initialize the lfos and the lfo modules mode modes and uh, also initialize modulation as well okay so different options there as well so here we have one oscillator, oscillator A, which is active. And you can see the green here. The other two are inactive, okay? The same for the sub and the same for the noise as well. So first of all, here you can enable and disable it, okay? And at the moment when you have the shape for the weight table. Remember, it's a weight table, so 256 frames, 2048 samples, 32 bits. So great. Now click here and you can change, of course, the type of oscillator, but we'll leave it for now to wavetable. Here you can find, if you click here, it says F1 for filter. So it is directing or routing to filter number one. You can change it to filter number two there, or you can also go to buses as well. And now the filter is here, which is not active, but we can activate that. Okay. So click on here and you have activated it. <laughs> And therefore you can act on the filter, but let's deactivate it now. So you know uh, how to route now weight table or an oscillator weight table to different filters. Now down here you have a representation. This is 3D. You can see one waveform and then multiple ones. Of course, they don't have to be 256 in terms of frames, but um, you get the idea. So it moves between a waveform to produce a sound to a, a specific frequency, of course. Uh, the timbre is dictated by the waveform, or of course, the frequency detect the pitch. And of course, then you have this button here, wavetable position, which allows you to move between the different frames. <laughs> And it's very useful because you can modulate this control directly to move it with different frames. So if I was to right click here, as an example, you go to modulation source, we select LFOs, LFO1, which is this one here. And now, based on this configuration of the LFO1, is modulating this weight table position control or dial. You can see the animation there as well, which is great. Okay, right click again, you can go to modulation source again and remove that if you like. Okay, here if you click again, you go to the visualization which is 2D where you see just the waveform. You can see you can change to the next one, next one and so on. Now up here you have a selection, click here and you go to subcategory so you can choose analog type of weight table and choose one. I like to leave it here in 3D. Really great. Now you can adjust the octave, click and hold, move left and right. Semitone. Um, fine tuning, incense, double click, and you can insert a value, but of course you can change the behavior of that. And yeah, you have a core speech as well, which uh, can become really handy if you do have a modulation source. Right click, modulation source, again, LFO, LFO1. <laughs> So you can see it's acting on the pitch, okay? So reset control and um, the modulation is not removed, so you need to remove it manually like so. Perfect. Okay, so here you have also the position of the frame as well within the weight table. Here you have the phase, which you can adjust. 
which becomes very important again when you have modulation or unison. Okay, there are different settings, but this is just an introduction, so let's continue that. And you can add some more randomization as well on phasing. Yeah, you have a button that allows you to configure how uh, different phases, different new voices will receive phases, but I'll cover those in a more advanced tutorial. Again, wait table position here. Unison, you can change the number of voices. You can detune them. Nice representation here. And yeah, you have a blend. It's like, uh, think about it like a wet, dry effect. Okay, that is interesting. Reset control, reset it, of course. Pan, left and right. Okay, double click to change the value, right click, reset control. Or if you don't like that, go here and uh, double click. You can set to reset instead of type of value. So now if you move it, double click, it reset the value, which is great. Here you have also advanced options for unison, which I'll cover in a more advanced tutorial, but they're there. And here you have also option for warp, and you have two warps, and it's very simple. You click here, you select one, for example, you might decide to apply a sync type of warp effect, and then change the setting. You can see the warp working. Here you can, for example, change to a different one, low pass filter. You can go to the next one like so until you find one that you prefer. And then you apply, of course. Okay, and this is just an introduction. Again, I will do a proper tutorial specific on WARP because I think it deserves it. Yeah, you see also this pencil, click on here, and yeah, yeah, you have your screen where you can also edit your wavetable. Lots of different options. Again, a dedicated tutorial is coming in for that. But this, in a nutshell, is how to get started with a wavetable. Okay, here you have controls to go to the previous one, next one as well. Okay, you can set to off the warp. And now, for example, you can use oscillator B, like so. Change the waveform. If you go to the max, you can see the two of them. Now, there is a difference. Oscillator A is going uh, to filter by default. Oscillator B and C actually are going to main, but you can send them to direct. So it bypass, for example, the filter, when you go by, it ends up to the main, of course, or none. So let's say that we wanted to go to filter as well, and also this one to filter. If you go back to the oscillator page, you see now you have the selection of the filter here and the filter here as well for both oscillator B and oscillator um, see, so you can see you can do a little bit of routing and also you can have three type oscillate to one on top of each other. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this introduction on the Waytable Oscillator and many more tutorials are coming from Zero2. Thank you very much. Bye.